Hi guys, this is Karen and welcome to Try It and Test It. Today's video is going to be on products that I received in my Jan Fab bag. But before we go on any further, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also do activate the notification bell right beside the subscribe button so that every time I post a new video, you get notified. It feels like forever since I sat down to film a video and to be very honest, I'm hoping that this one does get uploaded. So if you've watched my previous fab bag videos, then you know the drill. This isn't an unboxing video. It's basically me giving you my opinions on all the products that I received in the bag. So I flashed it on screen already, but here's a close up of what this bag looks like this month. I love the color. And as soon as I unboxed it, once it was delivered, my mom already called dibs on it. So this one is going to go to her. Apart from the other contents in the bag, there are these coupon codes that I received along with the product card. The theme, by the way, for this month is the Reset January Fab Bag. Here's what the card looks like. The first thing that I received in the bag and something that took me by surprise are these lip colors. It's a set of four and the brand is called C2P Pro Epic Matte Lip Ink Set. It's priced at Rs. 1199 which is quite a lot. Now I'm going to wear each of these colors individually for you to see what they look like. So the first shade in here and the one that I'm already wearing is this one. It's called Tranquil Brown. This is a color that I wouldn't shy away from wearing and uh, I'm so glad to have received a nude or a brown shade finally in my bag. I've always ended up receiving purples or reds or uh, red with an orange tint and very honestly I have never liked those shades. So I'm glad that apart from the other shade, at least I've received one brown color this time. The next shade in here is this shade called Arctic Vineyard. And well, this is what it looks like. I feel like I have received a shade similar to this in the past and I do not like it. And the color may look pretty on somebody else, but I'm not going to wear this for sure. So the next shade in here is called Immortal Ruby. And here's uh, what the color looks like. I don't know why, but it's coming off a little pink on camera. It doesn't come off as extremely red, which is what the color is in reality. And again, I don't see myself wearing this outside. The last color in here is called Lustrous Fuchsia. Now here's what this pink looks like on my lips. I was actually pretty excited when I figured that I was getting a pink color in here. Like I don't mind pinks and browns but not this pink. So here's what I liked and what I did not like about these four lip colors and this box overall. First of all, I do love the box. I am definitely going to use it as a storage box. I'm going to probably keep my jewelry. I don't wear a lot of jewelry but I'm probably going to keep uh, whatever jewelry I have and uh, my hair ties or something. I'm going to make use of the box for sure. Now when it comes to the colors, um, I loved how pigmented they are. I love the fact that they are extremely matte and that they don't transfer easily. The application also is quite smooth and you don't have to go over and over it because like I said, it is pigmented. Now things that I do not like about these lip colors, I've got four shades, right? The one that I'm wearing is something that I would wear often. The other three, I don't know. I'll probably try to mix the colors or something, but I don't know if I'll be able to wear those individually. Now, the second thing that's a little concerning for me is I, I mentioned that they are extremely matte and they don't transfer easily. But taking it off is a major task. Like there's a lot of effort needed to take the color off entirely. Lastly, although this may not be something that would bother you, but that slight scent that is there to these lip colors comes off a little cheap. And like I said, it's not something that's overpowering or that is going to bother you. But still for me, uh, that is another negative. So the second item that I receive is what I'm wearing on my nails currently. It's called La Roy Hollow Me Good Holographic Polish. I'm so glad to have received this shade because I do love this color. I remember wearing something like this back in college and anything that makes me feel nostalgic and brings back college memories, I automatically love. The third item that I received is by the brand called Bootsro. It's the multivitamin and rejuvenating night cream priced at Rs. 6.99 and you get 30 grams of the product. Basically, this one is a travel friendly one. So what's amazing is that this was sent to me at the right time. The night cream that I was using previously was getting over and I was going to buy another one from Nykaa and then my bag got delivered with this night cream. So I'm very glad and happy to have received this. Also, I think Votro is a brand 
that was there previously in a lot of subscription boxes so for me this is the first time i'm using a product from this brand so here are my thoughts after using this night cream now i've been using this for the last 10 to 12 days and one thing that people with an oily skin type would appreciate is that this cream absorbs into the skin really well and it gives off a matte finish now i've been using a lot of creams or night creams over the last couple of months and what i notice is that some of them give off that greasy finish there are other night creams that you know give that healthy glow to your skin but with this one that's not what i've experienced like i said it's a complete matte finish even when you wake up the next morning i don't see that glow to my skin it definitely does give you that hydration like after you wear it at least for me i did not find my skin feeling dry at all but if you are somebody who wants your skin to have that healthy glow then um, unfortunately this is not the product that's going to provide you with that and the last item in here is by the brand called skinalicious it's uh, their cucumber beauty gel for both skin and hair priced at rupees 2.99 and this one is a 100 ml product i previously talked about this aloe vera gel that i had received in the fab bag i think it was by the beauty co i guess that's what the brand name was but after that, I have not received any good skincare product in fab bags. And then comes this. This one is really, really good. You know that healthy glow and uh, the dewy finish that I was talking about previously? This one provides you with that. And it also makes your skin feeling hydrated. I was the person who would love creams that had that matte finish. But somehow that has changed over time. So I'm loving this. Now if I total up all the contents that I received in the bag, then it amounts to rupees 2,696, which is quite a lot. So there was a few hits and misses with the lip colors. Actually, there was just one hit. The rest, the rest of it were misses for me. Apart from that, I did quite like everything else that I received in the bag. And after months, it feels like I finally received a good fab bag. So I hope that the contents, the bag, everything just keeps getting better from here on. Okay, so that finally brings us to the end of this video. Let me know if you've received your fab bag for this month and what are your thoughts on the contents in the bag. Don't forget to like this video, share it across with your friends and family. Please continue to stay safe wherever you are and I should hopefully see you all in another video soon.